Welcome to Digital Shop Talk, coming at you for, uh, I guess, May 2017 here. It's hard to believe it's May, frankly. Um, quick shout out to Nick Niels for uh, stepping in for last month's episode, dropping some local search knowledge on us. Uh, but May, we're going to get right into it, is all about um, IOs and F8s and big, big summits, big news in the world of digital. Um, so Google in particular kind of got things going with their annual I.O. Yeah, Google, Google I.O. 2017, it's their annual developer conference. Um, they announced kind of the future vision of what Google is working on right now. Um, and just, it's it's crazy. We, we kind of feel as a digital shop that we that we keep up with stuff and then they just drop all this on it's top seen. of us. <laughs> like, oh, okay, everything that we That's thought great. we knew is, is, is getting crazy. So a couple of real highlights that I, that I really liked, Google Home, um, we've talked about this a lot. Google Home is going to surpass Alexa. It already has, so Changing good, the good world. luck with that. You can now use it as a phone. Yeah. You say, hey, uh, Google, call Josh. Yeah. And I can call him up and be like, hey, did you see the socks lost again? <laughs> um, so you, know, you can drop that in there. The other big thing is uh, Google Assistant can now see the world around you. So you can open up Google Assistant. It's called Google Lens. Um, kind of see what's going on and, and provide you information about what you're seeing. Business it, information. Business right? information, any, you know, just anything. Yeah. It's becoming, um, you know, it's a step into virtual reality, augmented yeah. reality. Yeah. Um, out of this, they said coming soon. Um, but as you're going to note here in a second, this is a race to the virtual reality uh, world between Definitely. Google and Facebook. Um, the other big news is that Google Assistant's now on the iPhone. <laughs> so um, Siri, um, Siri's you know, going. Who knows what Apple is doing in this in this space? I, I did see that the CEO of Apple kind of laughed and poo pooed about Google Home and voice search, and I thought that was a little bit arrogant. But huh. um, yeah, so that's top level for Google. Definitely, you, if you haven't read, there's a great, a, great uh, a lot of great kind of summaries of the event. Yeah. We'll, we'll provide you with some links to that, but how about what, what's Facebook up to? Yeah, not to be outdone, Facebook, I mean, I think kind of the big takeaway from both Google and Facebook is these used to be kind of really tech hardware based, right? Like I think they talk about like the old, you remember the video where the dude was skydiving with the Google Glass? Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's more about, as you said, kind of the behind the scenes stuff, the algorithms and, and augmented reality seems to be uh, the hot topic for Facebook in addition to Google. So really the big thing is it's all about the camera, as you mentioned for mm -hmm. Google, right? So. Um, you know, Facebook's getting a little bit more Snapchatty, so to speak, with some of the filters um, that are now released on Instagram that they're starting to test out. While that's a little gimmicky, um, the camera essentially is becoming smarter. You know, Facebook is essentially saying um, everything is about the camera. So whether you take that phone, open the Facebook app, and point your camera at a local business, you can get information in, in the future around store hours, menus, things like that. So real practical applications for businesses. Um, the other thing that stood out to me is kind of their messenger environment, which yes. very poo-pooed when it was first launched, but messenger is really integrating um, what they're kind of calling these bots, almost like um, search engine crawlers, if you will. So in theory, let's say you're on messenger, you're in an Uber, you're chatting with your friends um, about where you guys want to meet for dinner, right? And someone suggests, um, let's go get steak, right? What, what those bots are going to start to do behind the scenes is literally just based on your text-based conversation with your and friends location. and location start to kind of source that information without you even necessarily um, actively asking um, that asking for that information in the, in the way you would in let's say Google right? right so it's it's all about user experience as we've known for a long time um, but really kind of the leap for me is it's making this so much more seamless um, and I think the advancements this year are probably um, one of the biggest jumps we've seen yeah. in a long time. I think time. the other big thing for, for some of our client base with Messenger is it's becoming a very viable customer service tool. Yeah. So if you have you know 500 locations, um, you can have people connect with you on Messenger. Yeah. Um, I just did it the other day. I was trying to buy a gift certificate for my brother in Pennsylvania, and the website was closed. Yeah. Or the, the place was closed. It was mm -hmm. a time place. I don't want to put it at night. <laughs> um, so I messaged him on Facebook yeah. and got a response like that. Yeah. So it was... It was I had somebody share convenient. a product that like someone had posted, a user had posted in Facebook Marketplace. It was a one-touch share link into Messenger that said, hey, you should check out this product. Right. I found that you might be of interest. Easy so, communication, for yeah, sure. Pretty, pretty wild, um, but as you said, certainly uh, an arms race right. between Facebook and Does Google. Does Apple do one of these things? Do they, uh, have, they have their kind of developers conference, so I expect uh, that's always really been, at least for me, um, 
Fan, it's always it's the fanboy. Fan no, right. not a fanboy, but it's always like I, it seems like that's always been built around. Here's what's new in the iPhone. Whereas so it was like Facebook, five years ago when you had something exciting. <laughs> right. Everything else um, like catch up to Android. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, that's the news. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Long story short, some crazy stuff happening, but the camera is watching everything now. So careful where you point it. I guess we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, in the toolkit, continuing uh, with innovation, Google did not stop at Google I.O. Google Marketing Next ju just took place a couple days ago here at the end of May. Um, I think this in particular got us really excited because there's a lot of stuff literally right now, businesses uh, with a brick and mortar footprint in particular uh, can start to use. So Yeah, um, my favorite topic has been my favorite topic for seven years now is attribution. Mm -hmm. um, essentially the idea of you sell a hundred shoes, um, but those hundred sales had a thousand touch points and trying to understand which one of those touch points maybe helped more than others and, and where kind of credit yep. should be given for, for that sort of thing. Um, as power users of Google Analytics um, and DoubleClick, I'm um, mm -hmm. really excited about a, a, a more robust rollout of their of their attribution platform. You, you've always had attribution within within each of those, mm -hmm. um, but really putting more and more focus into this attribution. Uh, I, I think it's it's so critically important. We still to this day and age. I was looking back on a blog post I wrote in 2011 about, <laughs> hey, we should be doing this. And here, six years later, it's still not top of mind. Yep. Even even internally looking at our own agency, I, I'm still trying to push the importance of, let's start with looking at the data. How is everything interacting? Yep. And then let's start making some decisions based on some really smart data. So um, if you're if you're if you're a user of GA and double click, that's kind of what we're seeing as really a preferred combination right now for mm -hmm. the majority of our clients. The data is going to be getting better and better and better, and we're just going to be able to make smarter decisions. Mm -hmm. um, the other huge one for us is that Google is so serious about connecting the online to the offline. So, did someone search? and then go into a location to make a purchase, whether that was retail or fast food, fast casual, a spa, a, a sign company, whatever the case might be, a coffee yeah. near you, perhaps, yeah, seriously. right? Yeah, every um, you know, we, we've all seen the stats that, I think it's seven out of 10 smartphone users do some sort of search before they actually go into a physical location. Yep. Um, and so Google has tracked, I believe it was 5 billion store visits over the past three years yeah. throughout all of their tracking. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're applying a lot of algorithmic machine learning to understand what those connections really look like with the idea that we're going to be able to say, okay, you spent a hundred dollars in your paid search coffee mm -hmm. near me and yep. you got a hundred people coming in buy coffee. Yep. Right. Um, so those are things to your point. This the 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 IO is really visionary. Yep. This is like do it now. Do it now. Do it now and get going on it. So, you know, um, Farhan, I, I reached out to you recently and said, <laughs> let's, let's continue our conversation around coffee near me searches and how yep. we can attribute that to, to in store sales. Yeah, one of the things that kind of struck me too is like they, they integrating that POS data, right? And we actually to kind of toot our own horn did that um, in an award winning case study in twenty fourteen where we were taking. Point of sale data uh, right. from one of our clients um, that cut a uh, haircut franchise um, and connecting that with kind of search ads, click to call, all that stuff to really bridge that gap between online and offline. So um, I'd like to think we were a little bit ahead of the curve on that um, in a really regionally focused test. It's, it's awesome to see that stuff um, really kind of expand dramatically here. Um, shout out to Tommy Lynch as well too. He, he was on a tweet storm mission. Um, I know he's probably going to write some blog content, so check our blog for that. Um, but to your point, a lot of awesome, awesome stuff from Google Marketing Next that literally uh, brands can be doing right now. So so check it out. Um, and as more kind of develops, we'll, we'll continue to talk about it here. Boom. All right, so today's upvote. Um, first, we just kind of want to upvote the whole digital space. Right. Right. This is somebody asked me the other day, it's like, what, 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 what makes you want to go to work? And usually, those questions I'm like, ugh. <laughs> uh, but, you know, really, it's like, it's this kind of stuff. It's like, hey, there's, 
10 announcements here and 15 here and 10 here. It's like, which ones yeah. do we pay attention and they're to? they're all changing your life whether you know it or not. Right? Um, so it's incredibly, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Sure. Um, you've got wave after wave after wave coming at you. Um, but we feel that we do a pretty good job of figuring out which, which of those waves is the, is the right one for us. So yeah. shout out to digital marketing in general. Um, want to shout out to the Maryland Terrapins, the cross team. <laughs> okay. They have not won a championship since 1976. They lost nine championship games, including the last two years. And you're playing Denver. You're playing Denver on Saturday. And then I'm not going to, if they win, I'm not going to watch the game live. I can't, my heart can't take it. Really? So if shout out win. to Matt Rambo. My kids love you. Yeah. Are you going to get on the Boston? No, I don't game? know. I can't, I can't figure it out. Yeah. Shout out to summertime. We hope everyone <laughs> has a safe, happy Memorial Day weekend. Obviously, you're going to be watching some lacrosse. Hopefully, there's some barbecues in there. Uh, but we'll be back uh, at the end of June. Probably a lot more that's going to come from all of these crazy announcements uh, in the coming weeks as we start to see folks actually apply them to their business. So uh, I think that's it for us. We'll see you Fear next the time. the turtle. Be the best. <laughs>